What's up, Baseball fans? Back with Rocky Padilla, and today this is the interview that we've been waiting for. We got our big man, Lester Prosper. What's up, Mr. Prosper? What's up, Endo? What's up, world? How you doing? You know, number two five, Lester Prosper in the building. <laughs> I see you doing really well in Miami. What's what's been keeping you busy though? Ah, uh, workouts, man. It's just hanging out. Workouts and relaxing. That's all I've been doing. Yeah, I see you working out with Rami Workout, which is one of the biggest trainer in Miami. Can you tell us yeah. a little bit? How did you link up with him? Oh, I knew Rami really since I was uh, since I moved down. So it's it's like family. It's all love. And yeah. yeah, I'm curious too about which part of your game are you working on in preparation for the FIBA Asia Cup? Uh, that's a secret. See, you'll see, you'll see it when I, uh, when I reveal it. But that's a secret for right now. <laughs> All right. But can you, can you talk about a little bit? But we saw that you dunking on Andre Drummond. <laughs> Everybody get dunked on, man. That was just uh, a quick move I made. And um, he went up for the block. And, uh, you know, it happened. <laughs> yeah, and of course we saw you last week also working out and also playing a thing with Kai Soto. Can you tell us a bit about what you think about Kai Soto so far? Oh, he's gonna be good. He's gonna be really, good, you know. So, um, probably he'll probably end up in the league most likely. Um, that's a real good pickup for any team. Um, he, he wants to learn. Um, you know, he's a little raw still, but he's working. That's why he's always in the gym. So he's working. So. I respect him, man. Real, real good kid. Real good guy. Uh, met his father too. Real good person. You know, so nothing, nothing but um, the best of um, uh, nothing but the best to say about them. What know? do you like about his, what do you like about his game the most? Uh, tell you the truth, man. You could he could just run. He could run the floor, and um, you know, like. I've been controlling the the point sometimes, and I just pass it up. He catches it and dunks it, man. It's crazy. It's like this dude is like seven one, seven two, and I'm just giving him passes from all over the place. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's pretty cool. And of course, our young guy Derek Michael, he is on his way also to Australia for the NBA uh -huh. Global Academy. Um, what about Derek? What do you think about his potential? Do you like his? Do you like his game? Because I know you work out with him uh, in practice with the national team back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Derek, Derek has a lot of potential. Also very athletic, um, bouncy, and strong. He wants to learn. You know, um, he, wait. He's going to Australia, so that's gonna even. Um, they're gonna develop him a lot better. You know than than we did in Indo. So. I can't wait to see his, um, you know, you know what what he has learned when he returned. You know his progress. Yeah. So, uh, did you teach him anything when you guys uh, training together? Yeah, just uh, just keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. Take your jumper. I always tell him, take your jump shot, man, because you know he's inside out, and that's the new game. You know, you have to be able to play inside out. That's the way basketball has transitioned now. So. Derek is doing actually a good job at transitioning to inside and out, running the floor, rebounding, blocking shots. He's actually um, he does he has not reached his peak yet at blocking shots, but he will. He's gonna be so much better at blocking shots when he comes back from uh, Australia. I believe in I believe in Derek, man. He's you know such a great pickup. So I believe that you know. Okay, now let's talk about you. And I've been waiting for this interview for a long time. Actually, I want to do this after you made your debut with your with the national team, because it's been a long time waiting, almost a year. You know, you gotta wait until you can make your debut with the national team. But man, how relieved are you that you finally able to make your debut? Even though it was like I think November <laughs> last November. Yeah, yeah. Um, that debut uh, against Thailand, it was pretty cool, man. Um. You know, of course, everybody knew that we had a little bit of, um, you know, mishaps before, uh, you know, the games. But at the same time, we we stuck out as a team. We stuck out. We brought more energy. We picked up our energy in the second quarter. Um, and the most important thing is that we came out with the, the win. So, you know, big ups to my guys, my teammates who, um, who stuck in there, um, Prastawa, you know, you know, Jawato, you know, Abraham, you know, um, Govin, 
you know, we all chipped in and, and brought the energy in. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, you know, and I love to see my guys playing like that, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. You know, I started out a little bit uh, heavy legged. I, I'll call it heavy legged because we had jet lag. And, you know, due to the situation that occurred before we actually stepped on the court, that's why we started off so slow. But, um, you know, uh, we'll get to Philippines on time and, and um, we'll have no issues for the third window. So we're looking forward to that, too, as a, as a, a whole team. How tough was it, though? You know, you just came like one day before the game. And it was like an eight-hour, nine-hour flight. And yeah, you gotta, you gotta play in a FIBA competition. You know how tough was it? It was tough because of um, you know, being jet lag, mm -hmm. um, the energy. Um, also, we had to we had to practice on a court that we didn't play on. You know, so we we didn't get the advantage of being used to um, used to playing on on this this court. So, you know. But no excuses, you know, we, we got it done. We mentally stuck it out and we got it done. You've been with the national team for a couple of months now, maybe one year, maybe probably. So what do you like the most about the Indonesian national team? Let me tell you, man, me and Coach Rajko, you know, mm -hmm. we, we go through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm a very tough um, individual sometimes, you know, um, and I'm very like, hyper you know and i'm and, I, and i'm very like passionate so um sometimes he understand that sometimes he doesn't we go back and forth with it in practice but let me tell you something man i got better since i've been with rajko you know um from inside out he actually he wants me to shoot my shot he wants me to roll he wants me to do a little bit of everything you know and sometimes if something is is a little off and and i tell him hey check this guy out or do this, you know what i'm saying I understand he's putting a lot of, um, you know, a lot of pressure on me, but it's a team game. So, but I, I love the relationship that I have with my teammates. Um, I love the the way Rajko pushes me and stuff because actually, when you look at it, I am getting better. When I look at it, when I when I um, check myself and and I'm looking at the tape while I'm at home, I am getting better. You know what I mean? So it's 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 nothing. You know what I mean? The the relationship that I have with the team, I love it, and and that's what it is. And I'm I'm looking forward to um, to improving that relationship and improving the whole team. You know, for the next, um, I think I have probably have three, four years left. You know, if they stick with me for that long, you know. Yeah, and then we're gonna talk about the chemistry of the national team. How how do you like you know being around all these players? I think you you guys connect really well. You know, you guys bond really well. What do you think about that? Um, it's just it's just we always pick each other up, man. That's the way that's the way we are. Sometimes sometimes we get down on each other and stuff. But that what, what basketball team? What teams do you know in the world that they don't fight? They don't argue. They don't get down on each other. They don't pick each other up. It's that's why that's why we have family, you know. That's why it's called family. So, you know, um, you know, I love I love what we're doing, man, as a whole. I love the relationship we have with the team as a whole, and all those guys. They stayed in shape, you know. They're doing whatever they can, whatever little bit that they can to stay in shape. That's what they're doing, you know. Because I understand their situation, and some people may not. Uh oh. <laughs> some, people, some people, it's okay. Some people may not understand this situation, but I understand it. And, and that's that's what it is, you know. And, and you have a close relationship with Brandon Jawado. Just how proud are you? You know, see the progress of Brandon. Now he's like probably one of the top players in Indonesia. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, Brandon works extremely hard. He's um big energy. You know, um, you know, somebody like that energy you can't teach. Effort you can't teach. You know, so and he has a really good jump shot. Um, he rebounds. He runs. You know what I mean? It's a great it, Brandon is a great one-two punch to to roll roll with. So, you know what I mean? I'll miss him third windows, but we'll get him back in August, hopefully. Okay. I think he's injured, huh? Is he rehabbing from injury? Yeah, yeah, he's re rehabbing. You know, it's part of the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're talking about. And I, I know you probably saw the news about you know Indonesia planning to have a new naturalized player. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. About Caleb Wesson, but uh, it didn't happen. But what do you think, though, about the plan of Indonesia trying to get another naturalized player? How do you think, feel about I, that? I, I think it's, I think it's good. You know, it's good because, you know, I'm 32. You know, um, by the time I'm 35, mm -hmm. you know, you need somebody to, 
you know, you need somebody to step in and, and um, you know, uh, build chemistry with for the future. You understand? So I totally understand. This is a business. This is how it's, this is how it's going to go. And um, I'm all for it, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I, I think, yeah, the, I think the Indonesian national team, I know you probably have like four more good years. I believe you got four more good years, you know, in you. Oh, I got, I got a lot of good years. <laughs> you know, yeah, I take care of my body, man. Like the dieting, you know, my workouts, you know, what I, you know, I take care of my body, man. So I got a lot of good years. I'm not even worried about anything else, you know? Because I know you've been getting a lot of DMs about people asking you your status, you know, if, if you're going to come back to Indonesia or not. So now it's time for you. You can clear it out. You know, you can say, uh, you can tell about, uh, about your status to all the Indonesian basketball fans, you know? Yeah, no, I, I'll always be in Indonesia, man. Well, it, it, I'll always be in Indonesia, whether it's in the future, um, you know, well, I'm coming back in a month, of course, you know, um, and for future purposes, you know, I'll be there, whether whether to be a coach or a strength trainer or whatever, you know what I mean? I'll always be around Asia. You know, I even I even got re- um, offered a job, you know what I mean, from, from my team in the Philippines, you know what okay. I mean, to come to c- come in and be a, an assistant coach, you know what I mean, while, while I'm waiting for the third window. So that's even, you know, you respect people, you know, you, res- you respect the cultures of people, you know, um, you respect the country. You know, you respect decisions, you respect the bosses, you know, opportunities are always going to open up everywhere, everywhere, especially for me. So I'm a good guy. Uh, I know you. I know you are a great. You are a good guy. That's why you're my boy. <laughs> and of course, you got a good ties with the Philippines as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you see a future also that you're gonna be? You maybe you know working as an assistant coach or maybe a trainer in the Philippines. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Like I said, man, it's it's um, passing on the knowledge that I've gained because I'm a player that has been through everything. You know, like I've been through. I got cut from teams, you know, like, you know, I, I, you know, I've been through so much, man. It's, it's unbelievable. So I'm grateful to, to be in a position that I am today and be able to um, represent Indonesia, be able to represent clubs in the Philippines, San Miguel club, Terra Firma club, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm just very, very grateful. And I'll always continue to be grateful and work as hard as I can. And, and that's all I can do, you know? Yes, yes, sir. Now we're going to answer a couple of questions from the fans. The first question is from Ed Purchap. He's asking, what is the strength and weaknesses for the Indonesian national team? Uh, well, I'm not going to say that because we got a, <laughs> we, we got Windows 3. But yeah. I'll, I'll answer that question after Windows 3 and, and uh, hosting in August. <laughs> okay. That's fair enough. Let's go to the next one from Fadila. Is is there any big difference though from the athlete's lifestyle in the U.S. and Indonesia? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You, they have dieting. They they always have a a place to to practice to hone their skills. You know, they um, it's it's so much. It's so it's it's such a big difference, man. The food, um, you know, you it's easier to do a quick diet. You know, it's easier to, they have so many, especially where I'm at, where I'm at in Miami, yeah. it's so many different ways to diet, they have keto, no carbs, you know, um, just all types of different ways to be able to stay in shape and stuff that we have down here in America. Yes, yeah, it's, it's completely different, you know, oh. but, but Indo can change the culture. You know, it's, it takes money and, and, and all that you have to invest and this kind of stuff, you know, in, in this kind of things, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Though. That's true. Yeah. And, 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 mm-hmm. and that's something I see they will do in the future, you know, aim, aim into that. Cause I hope that yeah. athletes in Indonesia, you know, they can take care of their body better, you know, cause that's yeah, going to help. Exactly. That's going to help their game. Exactly. Exactly. You know, but, but that's, that's something for, um, for Bossy to sit down and talk to some of the players mm-hmm. about, You know, so this this is something that I see in the future to get these guys on diet and keep them keep their body strong, get them on a proper working out, uh, proper training, and um, have a 24-7 gym that they can be able to hone their skills all the time. You know, because it's Indo Indo is going to move up in basketball. It's going to move up. You don't stay at the bottom. That's just how I feel. 
Yeah, sir. Yeah, especially with the FIBA World Cup coming in in the 2023. Yeah. You know, I think basketball is gonna be. I think basketball is gonna grow bigger, even bigger in Indonesia. Yeah. Especially with you on board. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh huh. Okay, next one. Next one. I believe that you follow the IBL season in the bubble. So, what do you think about the young players, man, of Indonesia Patriots? Ah, uh, man, I tell you, those guys are high, very high energy. Um, they want they want to learn. Um, I I have the utmost respect for for all of them. You know, I love what they're doing. I I love what I saw. You know, and the future is bright, man. The future is real bright. Okay, and then last one for me. How excited are you, man, to come back to Indonesia next month and you know play in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifier window three? I was just talking to my agent about this, man. I'm very excited because I just actually finished a run today, you know, and I'm super, super excited to come back and and um, really start uh, building our chemistry again and getting on the road and you know um, proving proving people wrong, you know. I know. A couple of people are talking about your first game, you know. So, is there it's okay? Is there any pressure though to show up? Choose to show up in the second and the third window. We're Indonesia, man. There's always pressure on us. They don't believe in us already, so there's always pressure. So I'm not even I'm not even worried what other people are saying. You know, they're not on the court. I'm on, I'm on the court. I don't ever worry about what people are talking about. You know, I'm the one who's on the court. You know. Yes, sir. You know, yeah. Master, thank you so much, though, for your time. I know you're busy, but, hey, man, we still we are just happy, man. I'm very happy to have you on the Indonesian national team. Keep working hard, you know, keep inspiring, keep helping the young players, too, to improve. Absolutely. Because, yeah, man, we all behind you. We support you, and we are all excited to see you, too, play in window three and possibly match up against Ricardo Ratliff and also Kai yeah. Soto. I think that's going to yeah. be fun to watch. Of course, this is big. This is big time stuff now. This is what we wanted, right? Yeah, man. This is what we wanted, yeah. man. I'm so excited. This is what we wanted. For, for real, man. I think I think your matchup against Ricardo Ratliff, I think that's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be fun to watch. I love it. Yeah, man. So yeah, we're looking forward, man, to have you back next month in Indonesia. And yeah, thank you for so much, man. And everybody, don't forget, man, to of course follow Mr. Prosper and support him. And you know, give him, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do big things in the future, man, with Indonesian basketball. Absolutely. Absolutely. And let me know, let me know when you want to come down here in the future, man. I'll set it up with my guys so you can come in and meet some of the NBA guys, um, watch them train, watch us run the five on five programs. You know, what I mean things are opening up soon. So I'll definitely plug you in with my team down here. You know, what I, mean? uh, I appreciate that. Hey, I, I'm coming hey, there hey, when hey, you hey. come back. Hey, we need Rocky Padilla, Miami. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, Miami for not real. ready for me, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Les, man, uh, appreciate your time, man. Good luck. Thank and you, man. I'll see you when I go back to Indo also. Absolutely. Pull up. Appreciate it, man. Hey, peace out. Peace out, man. Peace. Dada. <laughs> Les, thank you so much, man. You remember Katimu, my brother. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, he knows he's Indonesia now. He knows he's Bahasa now. City kid, city kid, city kid. Hey, one guy asked me if you miss Ketoprak. Do you eat Ketoprak? No, no, no. <laughs> Just one guy like, hey, ask him, man. Does he miss Ketoprak? I thought you eat Ketoprak. <laughs> what, no, uh, what, no. what Indo food that do you miss right now? Um, Tell you the truth, man. Um, do you eat nasi Indo goreng. Food? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Yeah, that's a good. Nice yeah, it's the best. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. It's spicy. It's good. You know what I mean? It's real good. I love no, it. Hey, don't yeah. have it too much though. That's too much carb. Uh, oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. I don't have it a lot, but I, it's okay. That's the yeah. thing. But okay. it's really good food. It's really good. Okay. Once again, yeah. thank you so much, guys, for watching today's interview with Lesser Prosper. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Peace.